G'day, quick presentation on AT Games Bit Pixel HV Marquee, LED Marquee DMD. Um, how to change boot up background image. So once you've hooked it up USB and electrically, go to pixelk.org website and on the download, of course, once you've downloaded for FX3 and VPX the install package. What we want is the Windows based front end package set up. This one here. I don't think I have the 446, I think I have the 445 just before. This came out like a couple of weeks ago. Um, so just download and install. And once it's installed, just go next, 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 pretty much. Um, what you want to do is open the listener All right here I'll double click which will open this console All right and now it's listening want it's speaking give me some info um, so what we'll do is open up a web browser and just type localhost dot dot eighty eighty enter and it comes up to the configuration page of your bitpixel hv so you can put scrolling text in here which will scroll text but i can't save that don't think you can. I think it's just for testing and playing around. Um, arcade animations. Well, uh, arcade animations. I'll show you this one. We all love this one. We all love the ultimate. So you click on display. It should display in the right colors. Yellow is yellow. It's not pink. If you got pink, you're going to have to change something. I can show you that later on. Um, yeah, so the, the animation, only animated GIFs and PNGs will be put in here. If you put static or invertly, you put animated GIFs in the marquee section, it won't work. On the console, you'll get, um, error messages here, right? You're going to have to read that to make sure that everything's working well. So marquee, same thing, display, it should display, and save, alright, and save will save it. So you've got a whole library worth of DMDs and marquees and animated and you can upload your own. I advise using... 128 times 32 in pixel resolution size it's the best adapted in the script it does take um automatically 128 times 64 if i remember well it's sega's um size it'll automatically rescale that but 128 times 32 it takes whatever as well you can put high res photos it'll show it it's good when you look away, but close up doesn't look well. So um, here you go, Pinball FX, this new one I downloaded, or FX3. So I'll go save, all right, it's here. I'll go save. Now it's saved. I have a look at my console. No message error, error all right? If it didn't work, I'd get a message error what normally happens in the animated area or if you put animated in marquee area and that's how to change your background image if you want to upload an image you upload and you find an image um, there we go of my mad mag let's take this one right
it's 1050 times 591 pixels like nothing to do with it let's choose this called mad mag it's a jpeg upload clicked on upload right and let's find it well, sometimes it's alphabetically sometimes it's near the top I think it's alphabetically yeah I'm a mad mag fan collectioner I'll find it sorry for the camera view as well guys um, Alright, so I didn't find it. M A. Gonna have to do it else. Gonna have to control F this one. Right, so that's not the one I wanted. Alright, so it didn't work, it didn't work. Can't find it. Why? Because it's a JPEG, I'm sure. Try again. Well, I've got a PNG. I've got two PNGs. Let's try this PNG. Upload. Reading the console. Alright, so it's here near the top. Stretched out a bit. Display. So, yeah, up front looks crap. Let's go back a bit. Because it's higher res, like 10 times more the res it should be, it's kind of working better. It's all stretched. Same thing, does the same thing with. Um, animated gifs it'll work i'm not going to save that um and just quit i think we've gone through it all here just quit quit just quit the listener bam back to idle mode and i changed the boot image once again um Troubleshooting real quickly what you got to know. You've got to know that in DMD device.ini, which is in the VPIN main folder, you will have somewhere in there something called Pixelcade, all right, which is true which has got your COM port and which has got your matrix color. That's important to have the right color at the top, right? If it's not, if yellow is pink in VPX, well, you're gonna have to change that here, RGB, right? That's for VPX. If the color's not good, you're gonna have to change it here. Um, also, you want to have virtual DMD to true here, all right, and that'll copy um, through Freezy your DMD, uh, Flex DMD, Ultra DMD, Virtual DMD onto your BitPixel. Um, if the color is off only in idle windows state but good in vpx because your matrix is good good on the alp because it's got its own pixel cage software but in idle state your pink uh, your yellow is pink and uh, that's what happened to me and i reinstalled it a million times could not work um you have to go to your pixel cage installation folder Open up settings.ini. 
which I already did. And find, um, there we go, settings. And find, uh, which is right here. And right here in LED resolution, you got this option too, right? And this one will change your, your color. That's what happened to me, I had it all good. I don't know why, but today I put it back to original state to get it to work. But my initial installation, um, I had to put, um, No, I had to put other settings right here. If I go put a C2 now, C2. And save. All right. And I'm going to use the listener. Bam, listener's open. Go back to my web page, which I closed. Which is okay. Let's go to our local host. Okay, can't tell the difference now, but let's test um, yellow again. Our cool ultimate legend. Let's display that. Oh my god, yeah, that's ugly. Well, that's what happened to me. I did a proper install with the, um, the P3, whatever install, or whatever, even the pinball P2.5 uh, install. Did the same thing, which just did not work. Always good in ALP, always good in VPX FX3. The RGB was good, the Matrix, but in idle state, Windows mode, front end, just the yellow was off. So I changed that, put 32, uh, I put C2 next to that, and uh, and it worked until today. Before I wanted to do the video, <laughs> I noticed that my yellow was off again. So I just went back to settings.ini in Pixelcade folder. And just change that to its original state, like it should have been. Save again. Must have been something in the registry that I couldn't find. Um, quit that. DMD, you don't need that. Oh yeah, use the listener again. And display, and we got our yellow back, okay? Which is cool. Close that, close this. Yeah, you've got to read that console if you want to play with marquees, animated stuff. It'll tell you if there's errors, if it'll work or not. Some images can take several minutes to save onto the SD card if they're bigger and on a file and all. Um, Pixelcade also has like a ticker, which is pretty cool. It's a news uh, RSS news feed. I've put my own stuff in already. You can start the ticker. Just like, sorry, just like that. Start ticker. And I put my RSS feeds, and it should come up eventually. There we go. It's our local uh, information that I took from the web. Stock market, regional, municip the community. Sorry, it's in French. You can change the speed, the color. Pitunk. Anyone knows Pitunk? Um, it'll give you, yeah, well, stock market, weather, whatever you want to do. 
I'll stop that ticker, which is pretty cool software. I'm gonna add two more tips um, for it to work essentially. In V pin main, um, click your setup icon, setup normal, setup 64. This is for V pin main installation program. All this is um, instructed on pixelk.org for the window front end. That's uh, for the VPX. Set up default. Make sure you've got extern use external DMD activated, right? In the colorized DMD, you can activate that and OK. That's important. That will make sure that um, when you're using VPX, it'll um, go onto your BitPixel. And also make sure you're in DMD device, any of your virtual DMD is activated on true. And also for Ultra DMD and Flex DMD to work, um, you're gonna make sure that in Flex DMD UE.exe, sorry for the shaking hand, you've got these three, Jug Green. <clears throat> this one, I don't have the latest version, but it's not um, blocking the working of it, all right? I should put the latest version in that. But if you don't have the three here, Ultra DMD won't work. You got some tables like uh, Haunted House, America's Most Haunted, sorry, which uh, in other pinball games use Ultra. Um, so if you got a, a cross here, you're just gonna have to click on register, register, and you'll get your, 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 your green lights. And one last tip, I would like this to work in my front end, which I'm using Pinup Popper, which I love. Um, I'll bring down the sound. What I'd love to do is like to have, now my games, have the marquee change, right? So that's done with LED Blinky, which is, um, Included in the software package from Pixel Arcade, there's free and paid version. Um, there is no support yet for Pinup Popper front end. You got other front ends, Hyperspin and all that. But I'm not too sure how to do this. And also, what you need to do it would be have a script to go through FX3 Listener and the VPX one. You'd have to open and close 